Hi, my name is Kevin Matthews, and uh, I'd like to introduce you to a new brace design that my crew and I have developed, and we're in the process of getting a patent on. This design, this is a, a, a KFO designed to remove weight from the knee. Uh, your typical patient would be, say, a patient who's had a, a total knee arthroplasty, who had a subsequent infection, hardware had to be removed, and a spacer uh, inserted, and basically those patients are wheelchair bound until their knee is put back in and the infection is healed and that can be quite a while. Uh, this brace will allow that patient population the ability to ambulate safely because it take, removes 100% of the weight that would go through the knee. How it works is through hydrostatic compression of soft tissue to carry the weight on the thigh as opposed to the knee. Uh, it's really a very simple design. You use ski buckle closures so that you can get leverage for uh, uh, adjusting it. You use a floating tongue that is makes the system work. It makes it much more comfortable than a fixed tongue. And we use an overlapping foam liner. Putting it on is really quite simple. Now in my design, I'm not using a shoe. Normally this would be a carbon foot plate. These straps wouldn't be here, of course. And it would go inside a shoe. For demonstration purposes, so that you can see that there's actual unweighting of the uh, leg, I've basically taken that carbon foot plate and covered it and just made it a uh, a walking base, basically. To put it on is really quite simple. You set your leg in there, you close the front, you have the leg. If it was in a shoe, the foot would be actually out of the shoe, and the toe would be in, and the heel would be lined up, but you would be completely out of the shoe. And then you apply your front shell, and you'll lock down your cuffs just on the first first catch, then the top, you just do the Velcro closures, nice and tight, it, it really doesn't have to be tight, this still works if these straps are loose completely, but you do want to distribute weight a little bit more evenly than getting all of your compression down here. And now I'm going to tighten it up more, but all I'm going to do is one notch, so it's not super tight, okay? Now. What a patient would do would be stand up and extend the knee joint, and it, because my foot's not in the shoe, it's a little tricky. Extend the knee joint and lock the knee joint. Now they can do, do that also before they stand, they can lock the joint. Now once they're standing, what they'll need is one of the long shoe horns so that they can reach back and guide their heel into the shoe and then just slide the heel down into the shoe. Now. As you can see here, when I'm standing on this, I am unweighted, okay? There is a, uh, let's see, let me just bend over so I can hold on to this, and you can see, hopefully, that my heel is not touching at all. All of the weight is being carried on the thigh itself. Now, I can unweight myself some more just by pulling my leg out and then doing it again, and now you see my heel suspended even better, okay? And this isn't tight. I could easily go two buckles tighter. Let me just show you. There's one, and there's one. Okay, now that's tighter than it needs to be, although that is even tolerable. I think after a while it might be uncomfortable. But just to show you that this thing is not locked down real tight, it doesn't need to be, because the thigh gets bigger as it goes up. The leg will drop down, but eventually it will be choked off. Therefore, I call it hydrostatic compression just by controlling the volume as the leg shifts down it gets tighter on its own when weight is taken off you don't feel any of that compression because the leg rises up out of it there is a little bit of pisting and pistoning inside the brace but it's 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 still very tolerable and comfortable so i'm going to go ahead and just kind of well now me just to show you i'm going to leave the, the thing like that. i was going to do that buckle but i want you to see that in gate even this is very efficient 
Now, as you can see on my right shoe, I put a lid. <clears throat> I put two inches on this shoe because I wanted maximum effect over here so that you can really see that my heel is suspended. Now inside a shoe, for a patient that's had a knee replacement, they could allow themselves to go all the way down and even touch bottom gently without damaging the knee so they will, their heel won't be coming out of the shoe all the time when they walk. That will be a concern, but believe me, a minor concern if we can get this patient population walking is the nuisance of the heel coming out of the shoe but they wouldn't necessarily have to use a low top shoe. They could use a taller shoe uh, because the bars, the metal, will go inside a shoe. That's adjustable there, so they could, this could go in a boot. Uh, it wouldn't look real pretty, but this isn't uh, designed for you know, beauty. It's designed for function, and it does function. So I'm gonna go out in the hallway so you can watch me walk in a, a little bit larger area and get an idea of how it works and and how it works uh, in gait. So, Chris, would you go down to the other end? Okay, so. Now my foot's gonna be kind of swaying around because if, it, if it's in a shoe, of course it's locked down, so the foot isn't gonna be banging around and hitting the metal like you're gonna see my foot doing because it's unweighted, it's like a pendulum and it moves all over the place. Inside a shoe, that would not be a problem. If I strap this down, then it, my foot stays in place better, but then I could just cheat by carrying the weight on my toes, and I'm holding my toes up so that you can see that I am not bearing weight. So it'll be a little kind of, my foot moves around a lot, but in a shoe it wouldn't do that. But I just want you to see that in gait, I walk really pretty normally, and I would walk better if this were in a shoe, because my foot is all over the place. But there's no way to show inside a shoe that I could think of how this works, so I opted for this design. This is uh, very easy to walk in, and as you can see, my heel has not once touched the bottom, and my gait is not very smooth, simply because my foot is not in place. But if, if I balance my foot here, you could see that I've really, I can really step out. I can go fast. Now, if we, if we make the, the lift on, let's say, on my right foot where the shoe lift is, if this is a little taller than the left side, then it makes it much easier to clear the floor. So, uh, that's what I would recommend when we do these, that we put a lift on the other shoe and make it a quarter to three eighths of an inch taller so that swinging through, they wouldn't have to hip hike or do other comp compensatory things to, to, uh, to get normal gait, or to, to get the foot to clear the floor. But as you can see, I'm just going along here and it is, my, my heel is not once touched. And again, as the day goes on, and they can wear this under their clothing or over their clothing, as the day goes on, they may slowly kind of sink down in, and I could probably, well, no, I can't get my heel actually to touch, but some people may slide in, but it's very simple. Even through their clothes, they just push the whole brace down, and then they're suspended again. So that soft tissue will come back up into the brace and then be, be closed off. What I'm looking for are doctors that would like to try this on their patients. This is a design that is new, innovative. It is a standard KAFO design, so it's not really experimental, with a different closure system. Uh, so. Believe me, this is not an experimental system. The only thing experimental is the unweighting aspect, and that is obvious to see that it works, and the patient will know if it works or not. And it, there's no way that they're going to accidentally slip down in there, I mean, and, and hurt their knees, because this thing really does control. I mean, I've got all my weight on there, and my, st my heel still has not touched. It is still just suspended. Uh, so basically I'm looking for patients, preferably to begin with, because 
these, this, these are our initial trials. I would like patients that have overall good health, who have good shape and contour to their leg. I don't want people that are real heavy, real obese with a lot of uh, flaccid tissue. Uh, basically people in good health just for our first you know, 10 or 20 patients to make sure working all the bugs out and, and dealing with good intact flesh, people with, that don't have multiple medical issues, people that don't have circul circulation issues, although I don't think circulation or nervous circulation is going to be a problem, we don't know because I haven't done these designs with the choking you know, of the soft tissue in the thigh, but I think everything pretty much runs deep in the thigh, so there are really no areas that are at significant risk. risk. Uh, I hope that you can perhaps send us some patients and we can try this on. It will be covered by insurance. It's uh, basically a standard KAFO design. The insurance will not pay for the shoe lift on the other side, so the patient would be responsible for that. But other than that, uh, that should be is their only cost to the patient other than their copay or deductible. Uh, but it will take your patients from the wheelchair, excuse me, to being able to walk. They may not tolerate wearing it all day, although I think they probably could. To sit, they just unlock the knee and then sit down. We can use trigger locks here. We don't have to use drop locks. We use a double action ankle joint. So if they need a little bit of motion, we can put, you know, five degrees dorsi and plantar flexion in there. Uh, I don't think that that would hurt anything uh, because the heel is still suspended. Even if the ankle is moving some, uh, it is uh, quite an amazing brace. I wasn't sure that we were gonna be able to do it when we started this and uh, I'm pleasantly surprised. We've, we've done several different modifications with the closure system and uh, with how the, the proximal section is designed, but we've come up with a winner, I believe, and we'd love to try some on your patients and uh, give us a chance. We do good work, too. It's pretty. Thank you.